Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Welcome back to Amnesia Machine for Pigs. Uh, this is episode 7. Hooray! Now we just finished doing that room. I think. I honestly can't remember. It's been a couple of days. But I know we were at that uh, bit... Remembering all my keys, yep. Alright, so we turn this thing on. Which, I think we did that. Yeah, we did that already. But that didn't open up anything specific anyway. I think it was down here. Blood. Yeah, that's right, this odd thing. That didn't make sense. Ow. So I came down here and there was nothing down here. Unless I'm missing something completely. This is a pretty useless area. Oop, unless I have to take a rock, which I find a bit strange, but... <gasps> nah, I mustn't have to do that. I don't know. I'm a little confused. Ugh, he takes his time going up here. Oop, please don't fall off again. Hmm. What's that in there? Not much. Looks like eggs. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anywhere to go around here. So let's check back over this way. No. That's the way I fell down. So something over here. I'm not sure. Give me a second, just turn my volume down. Do I have to jump over this? No, I can't. Unless I have to go down. Because I think I cleared some of this water away. Yes, yes. Come on. This must be the way to go. It's got to be. All right. Uh, got to do that, and then I can close this door. That's right. And pressurize. Or kill the bacteria. I'm not sure what this is doing. I'm guessing it's like a clean room type thing. Yep. Lovely. Alright, this area does look new. Although, as I said, it's been a few days, so... Core systems access. That definitely sounds like something important where we need to go. <sighs> Alright, let's go find my children. My darling children. Oh yes, notes. Curled into my bunk, all sick and sweat-ridden, they clean my room about me, but I can only hear for the voice from within the gentlest, gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dream of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. 
We will plant flowers into the rotten ribcage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving. And I remembered when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept, for it was every bit as much desecration as had been sung to me. And then we came to London and I set it upon the mantelpiece. And we went into the house and gathered the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges, bulges of the rhododendrons. Interesting. Very interesting. Rhododendrons. Alright. Tight spaces are always good. What is he saying? Wrong one. And when they first said, Daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun at the fore and slop, and they were inseparable, always together, one soul in two bottles, bodies, and my love was all-consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill, I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought three dark tunnels, great engines at the fairest of beasts. I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come from you now, my darling boys. Right. Let's go get them. Stop. No unauthorized person enter this facility by order of the management. Well, I built this place, didn't I? I'm still unsure of that. Yeah, not much down there. Yes, we just read that. Are they speakers? Why are there speakers down here? Did they even have speakers back then? Let's go. Let me guess, this is going to fall or something? This must be the machine. Looks pretty massive. That's what she said. Lovely music. All right, let's go. Machine for pigs. Duh. All right. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. Uh, huh. Of course, I can't do anything with these. Of course, I have to do something else. That's uh, typical. Alright. Uh, nothing there. We're going to go through this door then. What is that? Rod control room. Oh, oh, this way. Open. Thank you. I need to control the rods. The rods are out of control. And they feel no pain. The process is completely humane. Humane, Professor. That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition. Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane. Oh. Hmm. 
those switches. Can't do anything with two of them. Right, there we go. The bastard has been here too, in the epicenter of his meddling. This is where it began, and this is where it will end. I will seek the source of this obstru obstruction, and then I will render this sabotage impotent once and for all. Good for you. Oh, I turned you one already. Are you kidding? Let's turn... Can I not turn number three on? Why not? Do I have to do something? Ow. That hurt. Alright, so that's why. Alright. Oh, what is this, like a nuclear reactor or something? Danger Compound X, highly flammable. Alright, lovely. Let's go turn it on. Yeah, dark, thank you. God, this guy goes upstairs really slow. Alright. There we go. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine, machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you. Yes, but then something will happen. And then something else. It's just a chain reaction. Looks like a ladder, but I can't get up there. Aha, uh -huh, now I can turn that one on. Uh oh. What the? I rise. I will rise to bleach the sky and steal the water. I will spin the world wheel and set the future upon the path to redemption. Where are my children? You promised me my children. My time is come. More pig. More pig. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, is that my children? Children! Children! Yep. God, you're ugly. No, it's not supposed to come out of your chest, that. It's supposed to stay in there. Strange children. Don't want them back now. Where are we going to now? So we'll let this guy free who's bent on turning everybody into pigs. So now I'm guessing I have to stop him. Unless I'm turning into a pig myself now. And I'm on an elevator. Oh joy. And emerging, I raised my head to an uncaring sun and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Mammon. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Evil. What the f Devil children. Oh god. Right. 
Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is and what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this, tiny cogwheels and clockwork, and intricate machines to serve a function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by what he fought, by what, by that what he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotage this body of body, his machine? Jesus. Until these children of his soul turn in new motion, and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this, is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. Can't read this little note that I've written while I'm claiming. So it is done. The saboteur was me, and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces, and the innards of humanity fell from the orifice, torn agape into my open, bifurcated heart. Ooh, pressure regulation. Yes, let's regulate that pressure. Where are they? Where are my children? They're gone. You know the answer well enough. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the layered larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize its source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a shortened broom, our little explorer adventures into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapours when they rush back to, into the system. Oh, lovely. They're just orphans, ah. Uh, you don't care. <laughs> <coughs> then we will be sending the comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Oh, lovely. Automatic pressure regulator shut off. Nope. Seems to be nothing. What if I take these things out? Alright. Let's go see what that opened up. YOLO Teddy Bear Heard them. A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? By killing them? That is not me. That is not me. I hear pigs. Oh, my flashlight back, it's hard to see. The hell was going on? This little piggy, little piggy walking away. Where's the little piggy gone? Oh, 
Alright. Can't go up there. So I turn the steam off. That door over there looks promising. But again, steam in the way. Where is this pig? I don't think the pig's actually here anywhere. No, still can't get in there. God, this place is falling apart. these things are there. None over here. I did that one already. It's got to be the one that was covered by steam. Yep. That pig must have gone somewhere. Not interested in eating today. Oh dear. Alright. I assume I need this cog for something. Holy shit! Damn it! Where's that ladder gone? Jesus Christ, they snuck up on me. I don't think they're following me anymore, but I'm still scared. Holy moly. Alright, up the ladder. Uh huh, you can't climb. Jesus. That scared the bloody hell out of me. Now quickly, free the pipes before the pressure returns and they fill with boiling corrosive steam. I sense the machine snarl itself about me, its unholy inhuman mind coil, and slick and send its dark tendrils through its conduits to repair the damage. I will return to the streets, I will fetch help, and I shall lead the people upon the factory, burn it to the ground, and seal this evil place underground forever. Alright then, I'll put it in there and see you next time. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye bye.